హాయ్ వివర్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ కవిత అశోక్ ఎడ్యుకేషనల్ ఛానల్ ఫర్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ పార్ట్ టూ ఆఫ్ ట్రిగ్నోమెట్రిక్ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ క్లాస్ వీ డిస్కస్ ఇట్ అబౌట్ ట్రిగ్నోమెట్రిక్ ఫంక్షన్స్ అండ్ ట్రిగ్నోమెట్రిక్ రేషియోస్ అండ్ టుడే వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ ద ట్రిగ్నోమెట్రిక్ ఐడెంటిటీస్ అండ్ స్టాండర్డ్ వాల్యూస్ క్వాడ్రంట్ యాంగిల్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ సిల్వర్ టీ కప్స్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ యూస్ఫుల్ టాపిక్ లిజన్ కేర్ఫుల్లీ along with the first video watch this video also we can get some clarity on the trigonometric functions now we will start trigonometric identities so what is trigonometric identity trigon right the first trigonometric identity is a cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 we already know cos theta is a trigonometric ratio and sin theta is as a trigonometric ratio cos theta is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse sin theta is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse the first identity is here cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 if we know this identity automatically we can get the remaining identities also right first divide the total equation by cos square theta then cos square theta by cos square theta plus sin square theta by cos square theta is equal to 1 by cos square theta now cos square theta cos square theta get cancelled this will become 1 plus sin theta by cos theta is nothing but tan theta square is there so tan square theta that is equal to 1 by cos 1 by cos is nothing but secant sec so square is there sec square theta now take this tan square theta to the right part what we can get sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 and this is our second identity the first identity is cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 the second identity is sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 take this as second one now divide the total equation by sin square theta now then what it will become here cos square theta by sin square theta plus sin square theta by cos sorry sin square theta is equal to 1 by sin square theta now cos by sin is nothing but cot square is there so cot square theta next plus sin sin get cancelled sir 1 is equal to 1 by sin so what is the multiplicative inverse of sin cosec so 1 by sin is there it will becomes cosec so this is cosec square theta now take this cot square theta to the right part cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 this is our third identity so we have three identities the total trigonometric chapter depends on these three identities if we know these three identities perfectly we can solve the problems very easy so what is the first identity cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 what is our second identity sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 the third identity is here cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 once observe here cos c c start with the c here cosec only here sec these two are minuses and this is only the plus remember carefully cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 
all these equal to one identity one so that's why we can call this as trigonometric identities right trigonometric ratios of some particular angles for some particular angles we have to remember the value of the trigonometric ratios of the particular angle so those angles are remember carefully this is very very useful table right so first trigonometric ratios sin theta cos theta tan theta cosec theta sec theta and cot theta the particular values particular angles are here 0 degrees next 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees 0 degrees 30 degrees in the sense here 5 by 6 40 five degrees in the sense here 5 by 4 60 degrees in the sense here 5 by 3 and 90 degrees is 5 by 2 for these values i will give some trick to recognize or remember how to we can get first right 0 1 2 3 4 and divide by 4 by 4 5 4 5 4 5 4 take root root right look at here now 2 1 ja 2 2 ja this one 4 4 get cancel this is root 1 now 0 by 4 what 0 root 0 is nothing but 0 the first value is 0 next 1 by 4 root 1 is 1 here root 4 is nothing but 2 then it will be 1 by 2 next 45 degrees root 1 is nothing but 1 here root 2 is nothing but root 2 only this is 1 by root next root 3 is nothing but root 3 only but root 4 will becomes 2 this is root 3 by 2 next root 1 is nothing but 1 so easily we can get the values of sin theta now sin 0 degrees these are theta values sin 0 degrees is 0 sin 0 is 0 sin 30 is 1 by 2 sin 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 sin 60 degrees is root 3 by 2 and sin 90 is 1 like this we can take away next cos so whenever sin values are like this na sin function and cos functions are co functions that means sin 90 minus theta will becomes cos theta cos 90 minus theta will become sin theta so the values also changes at 90 degrees so that's fine 0 to 1 now we will take here to here 1 now this is root 3 by 2 now this is 1 by root 2 now this will be 1 by 2 and this is 0 just reverse sin and co uh, cos both are co functions so that's why the values will change 0 here 0 0 degrees 90 degrees 30 60 45 45 no problem for that here so theta 1 plus theta 2 will become here 90 degrees theta 1 plus theta 2 complementary angles these are complementary angles so these are the values now tan we already know sir tan theta is nothing but the ratio between sin and cos sin theta by cos theta tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta here already values are there so first tan theta means sin by cos na 0 by 1 will become 0 next 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2 2 2 get cancel we can get 1 by root 3 next 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 get cancel it will be 1 by 2 by 2 cancel root 3 by 1 is nothing but root 3 One by zero. This is undefined. Tan ninety is undefined. Some control that is indeterminate form also. So just we will take undefined. Some times we will take like infinity also. 
like this also we will take next cosec function so cosec theta is the multiplicative inverse of sin means cosec theta is equal to 1 by sin theta multiplicative inverse of cosec theta is 1 by sin multiplicative inverse of sin is 1 cosec so that's why cosec theta is equal to 1 by sin theta already we have the sin theta value now cosec means 1 by sin 1 by 0 again it will become sin infinity or simply you can write undefined next again this one 1 by 2 it will be reverse 2 by 1 2 1 by root 2 will becomes root 2 by 1 so this is root 2 root 3 by 2 will be reversed so 2 by root 3 1 means 1 by 1 if you reverse also we can get 1 by 1 only this is 1 so this is the values for cosec theta the same manner sec theta sec theta is the multiplicative inverse of cos means sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta now we have cos theta values 1 by 1 reverse also 1 only root 3 by 2 reverse will becomes 2 by root 3 1 by root 2 will becomes root 2 1 by 2 will becomes 2 by 1 2 0 by 1 will becomes 1 by 0 1 by 0 in the sense again infinity or we can simply take undefined case the last cot theta cot theta is the opposite multiplicative inverse of tan again the values will be reverse 0 by 1 will becomes 1 by 0 it will becomes infinity 1 by root 3 will becomes root 3 1 the reverse is also 1 only root 3 by 1 it will be reversed 1 by root 3 undefined means 1 by infinity 1 by infinity will becomes here 0 1 by 1 by something is 0 the answer is 0 so like this we can remember these values so once look at here this is the total table if you are perfect in these the trigonometric values or trigonometric problems will becomes very easy to remember this we have the six six or five yes six uh, five standard values are the standard trigonometric values for that we will uh, take ratios here sin 0 sin 30 sin 45 sin 60 and sin 90 if we know only one this row automatically we can construct the remaining values sin 0 is 0 sin 30 is 1 by 2 sin 45 1 by root 2 sin 60 root 3 by 2 and sin 90 is 1 if you remember this easily we can construct the trigonometric table for the standard angles